Hey guys, Mike Simon here, and today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and a quick review of the mini handheld game that I purchased off of Wish.com. Uh, those of you who may, may have seen this, I did the express shipping, so it was like $11. Um, it shipped from California, and I had it within four days. I was quite impressed. So let's dig into this. It came in a small little box, as so. As soon as you open it up, it has a um, DreamHacks guaranteed card. And inside the box, it just has the handheld game unit itself and a little styrofoam sleeve. This is what it looks like. So it's a good size. Um, the picture makes it look a lot thinner than what it actually is. Uh, on the back you'll notice it's got the speakers and a battery door. I noticed right away it doesn't have a screw in the screw hole, which is fine for me. I'm not worried about that. So what I'll do is put batteries in it. Now it actually takes three AAA batteries in the back. Now again, your buttons, you have your power on the top, your standard D-pad on the left, and your triangle, circle, X, and square uh, right buttons. You have a reset button, and you have a select, and I'm not quite sure what this button does yet. I haven't tried it, so let's go ahead and turn it on. So right away, it pulls up, and it's got like a menu screen that says pixels and it has like a Japanese or English. Um, the sound button, that's what it is, it's a sound button. You hit this and it's got three different settings. It's off, low, medium, high. Speakers are on the back. So we'll go over to English <clears throat> and we will hit select and right away it gives you a bunch of games. It's got a small menu of games, once you like two pages worth. At first I didn't notice it, I was like, hey, I got ripped off, it doesn't have 200 something games. But on the second page, the bottom right corner, it says more games. Then it takes you into 246 and one, and this has a list one through zero, or starting at one, all the way down to 246. I haven't went through all the games as I've just got it today. And uh, so far, it plays pretty good. If you want to reset the device, you just hit reset. It takes you back to the main menu to select your language. So I will actually load up Super Mario here. Load up Super Mario 1 player. And it actually plays great. No lag, no nothing. Let me do a quick close-up so that you can see exactly what we're looking at. All right, guys. Um, I'm back. I'm going to do a quick close-up for you guys. Again, this is your power button on the top. On the back, you have the cover for the batteries. Three triple A's. Uh, no buttons on the sides. You have your D-pad on the right, I'm sorry, your left, your up buttons on the right. You have your reset, select, and a sound. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. Like right at the beginning, you see that you have your language selection. We'll go to English and select. Then it has a quick menu of games. Which again, if you go over to more games, select, and you have your 246 and one. So to go back, you just have to hit reset again. Select, um, again, we'll load up uh, Super Mario. Select. Obviously I haven't played in a while. Get this a little bit closer. 
There we go. Overall, the system works pretty pretty well from what I can see. Um, I haven't had any issues with it, and uh, I don't know what's running in it. Maybe a Raspberry Pi with pre-built games or something like that. But uh, I don't know if you can flash it and put your own stuff on it. But it runs flawless, no lag or anything like that. I don't know if it saves your games. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, but if I do, I will just shoot a comment on my video and let you guys know. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like, and stay tuned for newer stuff.